Thank you all for being here. I'm Heidi. I'm all, I'm Cindy. You've all heard the story Little Match Girl, right? Little Match Girl is a sad story about a poor girl who sells matches. Being poor, she doesn't have warm clothes or enough food, and she has to walk down the street in a freezing cold. People ignore her and she feels lonely. Eventually, she likes the matches to keep warm, and she has beautiful dreams of delicious food and her grandma's love. This dream gives her comfort as she visits to death on the street. The sad story shows how hard life brings for people in poverty. Nearly half of the world's population live in poverty. A lack of food, clean water is killing thousands every single day of the year. Poverty is an important issue that affects every country around the world. In fact, the first goal of the UN Sustainable Development Goal is more poverty. Today we are going to discuss this issue with you. First, we will explain what poverty is and why it is such a major issue today. Then we will share with you what needs to be done to help alleviate those in poverty. Finally, we will show our ideas on actions we can take to help end poverty. Do you know what poverty means? Well, poverty, according to United Nations, refers to when an individual or family doesn't have money or resources to meet a basic needs and enjoy a reasonable standard of living. These basic needs include things such as food, clean water, shelter, and health care. However, it's important to understand less relative. Many others consider in poverty, varies depending on the country or region they live, and the average income or standard of living there. For instance, while in the United States, a person in poverty is a live on less than 750 NT per day. In Ethiopia, the poverty line is more than 10 times lower, at about 63 NT a day. In the worst case situation, when an individual or family lacks the money or resources to meet their most basic needs, such as food and shelter, then the term extreme poverty is used. Now, think back to the first step we show with you. Nearly half of the world's population live in poverty, meaning that half of the world's population doesn't have access to enough food, clean water, healthcare, or home for themselves or their families. Most of them are in developing countries, which according to the World Bank, makes up 16% of the country globally. Did you hear what Bernie said? Bernie said that according to the World Bank, almost 10% of the world's population, around 736 million people, live not just in poverty but extreme poverty. They live on less than 68 NT a day. The average person in Taiwan will spend more than that just for some bubble tea or some snacks. The largest population is of the countries of Africa, south of the Sahara Desert in South Asia where 80% of the world's population live on less than 50 a day. Well, can you believe that the poorest of the poor are lost in extreme poverty, suffer from several hunger, and without access to basic services such as electricity and, and, electricity and safe drinking water, have very limited access to education, and are in poor health. Economically speaking, poverty is harmful to the economic growth of a country and the world. Simply put, those in poverty need what little income they have just tried to survive. They are unable to save or invest in education or health care. As a result, investment in the economy are minimal. They are often never receive an education to learn useful skills for work, and they are often in poor health or resulting in a much less productive world than other developed nations. Did you hear what Molly said? It's a big problem all around the world, even in Taiwan. That's we need to address together. So let's take a look at the two biggest ways in which our world can achieve SDG1, no poverty. One way to reduce poverty is through education. Education is essential to help people escape poverty. If everyone in the community has access to good education, then they are able to learn reading, writing, and math, and other skills which are essential for finding good jobs, better work opportunities, then enable them to earn more money to support themselves and their family, helping them to break the cycle of poverty. Another way to reduce poverty is by promoting economic growth. 
as economic growth is more money moving through communities, which then may be used to help people who are struggling. On top of providing more financial assistance, governments are able to use extra money to not only create new jobs, but also improve infrastructure. By the infrastructure, how people have more access to clean water, proper sanitation, electricity, and means of transportation. Overall, we should gain create more jobs, improve local businesses, and the overall living conditions of the people. In conclusion, property is the global issue that affects almost 800 million people around the world. However, we can make a difference by improving economic growth and promoting education. If we are willing to work together, we can make a difference and make the world a better place for everyone. Let's join hands and take actions to end poverty. Lastly, SDG 1, no poverty, and make a positive change. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.